two, three. Say hi. to my channel and this is a very impromptu video as y'all can tell by the title I just got this random urge to start looking up different things for my um more well, my first unit coming up for this school year and I don't know where it came from I was I was here with my family earlier and I was vlogging and for some reason, I was just like, I really need to get a jump on it. And I just got that, you know, that push to go ahead and start looking up stuff. I am meeting with my, well, I'm going to have a phone. You know, I'm going to meet with my um, collab teacher in the morning. She's going to call me at like, where's my phone? It's over there. She's going to call me at 11 and we're going to go through some stuff um, just to see. She gave us, um, I feel like I'm saying um a lot. My bad. I hate when people do that. She gave us the first unit for the school year coming up. However, she said, well, she mentioned that she wanted to switch some things up or she had like another idea that she wanted to do. So I just sent her um, a text and I said, hey, I saw that you were looking for something different. Maybe let's, you know, create something so hopefully we will have something brewed up for you guys. Well, for my students, and I will be able to share it with you all. She basically mentioned that she wanted to do something um, that was kind of cultural based with everything going on, the culture and the climate that the society is in now. And I'm all for that. Along with that, you know, she wanted to touch on how differences make everyone special and things of that nature. And I'm very excited to do things like that. My first year, which was last year, if you don't know, I am an English teacher. You all should be able to tell by the title. And my first year teaching, I taught sixth grade. However, I am going up to seventh this year, and I'm very excited because nine times out of ten, I will have some of my babies that I had last year. So I just want to get a strong, solid game plan. I'm looking up some stuff on teacherplanner.com. I have never tried them, but however, they seem to have some nice ideas that they're giving. The one that I'm looking at now speaks on tolerance, um, diversity, things of that nature. Hopefully, I can come up with some ideas. I know tomorrow when she and I talk on the phone, I can't wait to collab with her because she she's such like a ray of sunshine. She's amazing. And she's really good with the students. So I see a lot of things that has like multicultural things, diversity, the meaning of respect. So basically how all of those things play out. So I'm going to give this website to her. I'm pretty sure she's had it. She's been in the game longer than I have. So I'm going to do that. Also, I'm going to show you guys how I come up with my creative process for coming up with different things often i am influenced by things that's going on i started off my sixth grade uh year the first unit we did was off of hamilton and basically it was me teaching you know context clues and you know elements of fiction you get them the hang of you know picking out dates names locations things of that nature and they really enjoyed it also with the test you know i will play the music and the music are literally you know it, it's it's the show so um yeah and it, it was amazing they really enjoyed hamilton i would love to do that this year but i don't know how it's going to play out with um the theme for the first unit so hopefully when she and i talk in the morning we'll come up with some different things i know we have another seventh grade educator he's awesome too we're all like in the same age bracket and i'm so excited for that because when you get young minds together in education it's amazing i promise you guys it is amazing um i'm not taking it away from the ogs that's been in the game for a while but i'm just saying having something new having something refresh it's not repetitive it's different kids want different i don't plan on 
teaching the same thing three years from now. You know, I want things to go and run with the punches. Roll with the punches. Is that how it goes? I don't know. So, yeah, I'm just on Teacher Planet. And we are going to see what I come up with. So far, I'm really liking the tolerance and how they have, um, you know, the definition. It gives you vocabulary. I will try to link the website in the specific page down below. I've also been looking. I can't remember if my camera caught it or not, but I am going to be linking the Teacher Planet website below for this specific page. I have been looking up a lot of different educators those who have like a huge following as far as their work within the classroom such as valencia clay she's amazing if you guys do not know her i will link down she has a blog i will link it down below also but i am you know trying to figure out what works or what will work best in the social climate that we are in i want my students to know that you know we're in the same time we're both human we both have emotions and i need them to know that i'm not ignoring the social injustices that are going on i know this is you know an english class but i, I need them to know that you know within our english class we're gonna realize some things we're gonna work on some things we're gonna change some things and i want them to leave my class a better person so yeah we're gonna well i'm gonna get started like i said now it's around 9 15 um a chunk of this clip went missing i can't tell when it went out but hey we'll figure it out so yeah i'm gonna look up some stuff figure out you know my points as far as what do i want to propose i know you know tolerance diversity things of that nature and yeah i will let you guys know what i find bye all right guys so i got breakfast situated it is 10 41 i'm about to um start going over the things that i found so i just basically googled 15 songs about being different they have different songs but the genres are the same so i don't know if i want to sorry i'm about to pull up I don't know if I want to go through and just find songs of different genres or do I want to find songs um, that are basically about being different. So that's where I am now. Um, and also I'm trying to come up with a vocabulary list with this and connect them to the video -E strands, the SOL strands. So we're just going to see how this goes. Um, I'm going to let y'all know what I come up with. Let me see. Yeah, I'm meeting with, well, I'm, we're going to talk on the phone at 11. I just took Spike out. So now we are going to see. I wonder if I do maybe a song from a musical, a country song. I don't know if I can do gospel. I don't. Uh, I don't know. I'll have to double check. Um, I don't know. Like a pop song, something from a musical, R&B, possibly a rap song. Um, I think that's what I'm going to do. Yeah. Okay. So, plan. I want to at least get five to ten songs in this list at maybe like... I think, did I say five to ten earlier? I can't remember. So I think I'm going to do five to ten songs. I'm going to get the five basics that I absolutely positively want to go in there and then build up from there. And then I'm going to go through and get the, um, the vocabulary that I want. I know tolerance, differentiation, those are going to be my two main vocabulary words as of now. Um, for the unit, those are going to be my unit vocabulary words and not my, uh, lesson vocabulary words. So let me see. They have a diversity word search and a multiculturalism word, word search. So I'm going to see if I can find, if I can look through this diversity word search and see. Hmm. 
okay, nothing is coming out. I lied. Okay, there's 50 words. Okay, so I can use... Oh yeah, I'm gonna use some of these. This is a good one. Alright, so after that, I'm just gonna go through here. I'm gonna write down everything. My book is actually in my bedroom. Um, I'm gonna get my little book out that I jot my notes in and everything. And I'm gonna write the words down, write my proposals down, and then see what we come up with. Um, so yeah, hopefully she likes the idea. She's a very fun teacher. I haven't worked with her yet, but her personality is amazing. And I'm so, so, so excited to work with her. Um, and she's very, very aware of the climate that we are in. And I can't, honestly, I cannot wait to work with her. Um, so, yeah, I'm going to come back when I have, I don't know if I'm going to come back before we talk on the phone or after. Because I do want to go through and come up with a list of things on here. Um, so we shall see and so what are you doing yeah okay you're so cute so yeah all right enough rambling that's what i'm gonna do for real all right let me get to it okay y'all so i just got off the phone with alexis and I'm so excited. So basically, she gave you the rundown on how, let me turn my seat down, on how things will go. Um, so our first unit, well, she, we base our units off of a question. And within that question, there's the basis for the unit, um, which I do love. So I have the initial unit right here. Um, and my idea that I had about, you know, um, diversity and things that will go into this into this unit so what i'm going to do is i'm going to come up with ways to incorporate um the different things so basically she was saying how um for this plc everything is pretty much structured but you have the the freedom to like pick different sources that your students will like and that you like so we will all have the same unit um the same so we'll have the same unit we'll have the same um schedule as far as plans but we have the creative aspect in our control so i was looking through this website it's called tolerance.org and this one speaks about developing empathy so i think what i want to do is um go through here and basically get an idea of how I want these things to go. So, um, I have the question, well, the basis for the first unit written down. And I have her outline written down. Um, it's written down and it's on my phone. So, what I want to do is, I basically, I want to go through and put real life situations real life scenarios things that are going on in our society today into this unit um as you all know the world is pretty hectic you know so now will be a great 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 time to have the students understand learn and how to actually apply empathy seventh grade is very hard alone but um yeah i believe that this developing empathy and understanding and applying empathy is something that's needed so not just for the students as far as educators as well so not only am i just going to give them you know or provide them and we're going to learn together different strategies to practice empathy through our work where um whereas you know it would just be like teacher student i'm doing homework um for myself also i want to have a clear understanding i want to understand how to shift my teaching skills um based on empathy so i am on excuse me guys i am on a website now where it has changed the world by incorporating empathy into your teaching so this is written by julian cortez um, so 
so what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to read up on this and take notes and with my notes I'm going to identify certain things where I can collaborate his article is you know and kind of place them with practices that I want to do within my classroom um or my virtual classroom what have you so she and I are actually going to um we're going to chat for teacher work week coming up I know that by me staying at home teaching I'm only going to be allowed to go a few days into the building because of my outside schedule but yeah I'm very excited for this guys so what I'm gonna do is I'm about to um, go over this article I'm going to take some notes and I am going to kind of come back and give you guys an overview of how I do my notes and how I say organized as you can tell I have this planner you know it's pretty thick not too bad though and I'm going to make sure that I I'm going to go through and do my things first because like I said I want to have a clear understanding and you know come up with some practices in order for you know not just me teaching empathy but I'm going to be showing them so I'm teaching them through my actions as well and you know I don't want them to say oh Miss Kemp is you know, so I, don't, I just don't want them to be like, oh, Miss Kemp is teaching empathy, but she's like the least empathetic person I know. So I'm going to do this. I'm probably going to run some errands, go to my parents' house. I have to pick up my old classroom key because I'm going to a different classroom. And um, yeah, I will catch you guys in a few. So wish me luck. I went to my parents. Um, got some stuff that I needed <laughs> dinner and um, like my pens my pencils books my desk that I have my computer on now so right now I'm just going over the last few things that I wanted to show you guys I have the the basis of the unit what can I do vocabulary words in my suggested readings um, I will go into more detail but I only have my smaller um, planner right here as I showed y'all before so after I do this I will basically give you the rundown of how I um, come up with come up with um, like an outline as far as where do I want to go with as far as my notes and how to elaborate this is just the base of everything so this is not you know me expanding on this is literally just like a quick little rough drive to put my ideas on paper so when I am done with this, um, I'm going to show y'all, okay? Hey y'all, really quickly, um, I just wrapped it up. I threw something else in there. So I just wanted to show you guys how I come up with, is it lighting? I'm just gonna want to turn the lighting, it's decent. So basically at the top, it has basically the, I said basically, <laughs> twice, <laughs> whoops. So at the top, here is the, um, what's the word that I'm looking for? Uh, the foundation for the unit i can say that so in red is the foundation for the unit i wanted this to stick out so this up top in red is basically the objective what i continue to look for okay the game they, they put this on hulu and i've been going to town back to what i was saying so what can i do basically the overall thing of this unit is empathy so what can i do right here this will basically and i did this in a different color so what can i do um, just to go over it, I said have wholehearted beliefs and be wholehearted when I present them. Be passionate. Ooh, I don't say handwriting. Provide real world examples. And my favorite one is teach the differences between reasons and excuses. 
um that's my personal favorite so to go with empathy the vocabulary words of course is empathy empathize beforehand sympathy stereotype bigotry prejudice discrimination compassion and understanding um i picked those because you know if you know you know <laughs> so some of these um there are synonym and synonyms and antonyms however you know we have to have some type of truth basically we have to have the real life issues to talk about that's why certain vocabulary words are there um for the suggested reading i have the tiger's wife wouldn't trade nothing for my journey now um the essays written by maya angelou it is a disease carbon and a lack of empathy and empathy the last three are words of poetry and for the songs, I did Waiting on the World to Change, Bridge Over Troubled Water, We Are the World, What's Going On, Lean on Me, Things Are Gonna Get Easier. I low-key, I'm gonna do Keep Your Head Up by Tupac because he deserves the recognition <laughs> and my students deserve to know Pac. Last year, I had Nip all up and through. They knew, they know, period. So, Keep Your Head Up. I'm gonna play both okay and what else doo, doo, doo. man in the mirror i think this i think i got it all so basically this is the overall outline of how i want to do things so when i pretty much talk to my collab teacher again we're i'm going to present these and i will try to expand the best of my abilities so yeah i think i wanted to go over how to survive virtual teaching because i did it over the summer and it was it was pretty decent it was not that bad i think i'm gonna do another video on that and i'm gonna try to have it up shortly after this one so for my educators y'all please stay safe stay sane um yeah stay safe and stay sane at the end of the day we're gonna fulfill our calling we're gonna do what we have to do to make things work um so yeah i think i'm gonna close the video out right here if you guys like what you saw if you have any questions let me know i'll do the best that i can to answer them if you have any advice kindly let me know because you know sometimes people aren't kind and i'm not you know I'm not here for that. So if you guys like this video, don't forget to give me a thumbs up, like, subscribe, and I will see y'all in my next video. Bye. Oh, pause. I will put my teacher slash classroom IG down below as well as all of the links that I found, all of the information. Um. So yeah. All right. I think I'm done for it, guys. Bye.